<laughs> yes. This is feeling pretty good. <laughs> it's so good! Hey everyone, Sylvius here today with a Darius Yasuo Apprehend deck. This is a very cool concept because it's kind of like a mix of like this mid rangey aggro thing, but also with the stun control. You kind of get this two for one special. I know a lot of people like having two separate win conditions, and this is a deck that fulfills that. You can win with Yasuo and all of his stuns. I've done that several times. And you can also win with Darius and Apprehend, which is pretty freaking sweet. I had so much fun playing it. I had games where I went with Yasuo, and I did have games where I went with Darius. However, the games that I went with Darius, I had some mic issues, so I actually record over it and I tell you all what's going on real quick. Uh, for I I'll just play some music because my mic wasn't working all the way, but you can see those games as well. Against the Nightfall aggro. I'm going to get rid of the Apprehend here. Pretty much keep everything else because pretty good curve. Uh, spider would be okay, House Spider. But you know what, Tasty Fae Folk makes me pretty happy with my life. The one drop would also have been nice with Blade Scout, but meh. Maybe they have a Solar Soldier in hand since they pause there for a little bit. In this game, we want to force them to pass more often. Okay, this is uh, strange to me. But I'm okay with it. Sisters. Because that's that card's so strong when it has the elusive keyword. We'll pass once more, make them make the first move. Faithful or house spider. Kinda right, depend on what they play. Alright. House spider it is. Cause we're not low on health, we can save the Fae Folk. Alright, they have another one. We also is a possibility for me. Maybe it could be Fae Folk as well. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have the option to go wider than that. Hey, folks, that is. As if they attack with this, I don't want to block the Yasuo. This is interesting. The order here. Alright, yeah, I was gonna say. They either just block with this or you attack with this first, then you actually get the two damage in. They did change it up though, so good for them. And not so good for me. I mean, they have to do something. They gotta, 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 gotta do something. Still have to do something. They're only two out of five. They can't just take two attack every turn. But if they do, I'm good with it. Yeah, just attack with the two, three elusive and let's just call this. I would love it, actually. I mean, they got a lot of Nightfall. They can level up Nocturne with the attack now. Uh, it doesn't really do that much, though. A new moon rises. And sleep it doesn't have a challenger. They might be newer to this list. I taste purple. It is kind of hard to pilot. Or they just have a really bad hand. That could also be it, considering they're playing Priestess next. I don't think Priestess is very good in this deck, but I'm guessing their hand is just a when bit awkward. End? All things in cycles. Someday we will be one. Well, I have an army of eggplants on my side. What do you have? Definitely not an army of eggplants, that's for sure. Darius? Do I? I kind of want to. No, not a silent shake plant. I plants don't like to be silenced. Fun fact. I have my orders. Yeah, I'll play Darius. This is a block ruin Nocturne levels up. Night so I don't think I attack into this actually. I think I just play defensively here. Also, they got the silence from this, not spacey. Kind of weird to think about. Oh, I don't have 
Picasso out. But if I did... I don't think I want to do it now anyway. I think I do it on my turn instead. Then I can get more attacks and maybe level up the Darius. Their open attack just isn't that great here because I don't take all that much damage. I get to heal for a ton. Yeah, I'll probably take... If they were to pass here, I'd just pass back, I think, though. Okay, they're gonna Our go for something. They don't upgrade Diana with that. Tonight they'll pay for their crimes. Find your path okay. in the dark and follow no false light. I'm trying to think about what I want to do here. This is a uh, Yasuo play. Pretty sure that it is. is like then I palm, and I can play the Yasuo Steel Temptest. And Nocturne levels. Very much so. And has Fear Zone. I guess they're really hoping for the non interaction to happen with these. But they don't know the secret. The secret is we can do this in a little bit of that. I oh, can't jump block. Oh, I can just jump block with this. I'm very okay with that. Saying nice and healthy. Yasuo going to get two things. I can have deep bed for next turn. I have ravenous flock too as well. I'll kill- I'll use ravenous flock on this nocturne for sure. Nice. Then I can block with everything. So kill Nocturne. And can roar if we really want to. Do we really want to? Mm. Pale Cascade is a counter. It hits three things. Eh. that. Key Guardian and Flock. Flock is pretty sweet. Walking is strange. None shall oppose me. Uh, bad news about this Yasuo attack, if this were to block it. You can palm. You won't be silenced. You can definitely just palm here. Fear not that's if I want to. I can just do this instead. That's pretty greedy. Well, I guess it's the only thing that trades into Darius. Uh, do I want to palm? 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 Do I want to palm this? Don't think so. And with the two one being there, maybe I should have used the intimidating roar. Hmm. It's hard to say with Hell Cascade, so. Honestly, I get so much value from these guys. I should just be happy with that overall. I have Palm against Diana, too, when she tries to grab something. So, you know what? That's probably better to just be saving the Palms here. Creature! Yay! I want the Key Guardian. What do you give me? I uh, can appreciate this. You have taken a dark path. You never Even leaves me up for concussive palm, which is nuts. So killing that, Diana stunned and gets into a raptus block range. Makes me pretty happy. Blue. I've made this mistake before. They didn't even do that, but I understand. It sometimes it just happens. 
Mm. No, not with that much mana. If they play a Cygnus or something, that's scary. I will respect the thought, but Cygnus couldn't be available. Sigil! Doggos! the other thing go though Thirteen. Yeah, it's just safer sure we could be like yeah we're gonna play intimidating roar and go nuts our light grows brighter I think I just take it That for a little warrior. Underestimate. I dare you. Feels a pretty bit bad, but you can't activate Nightfall next turn unless they get some like funky top decks. Big blade for a little warrior. Should have added these before I played it, but I it's all good. You. Okay, I guess I can't activate Nightfall. There are some top decks that work for it, but there's also some intimidating roars that hopefully end this game. Yes. I need to play Apprehend, unfortunately, but Still pretty fun. Hmm. I was not expecting to meet another Darius on ladder, so we are against another Darius, funny enough. Uh, don't really want to phase. Sure, it can be kind of funny sometimes, but I don't have enough stuns in this list to be like, yeah, you know what, phase worth it, you know? It's, it's okay, but I think two of them is a bit too low on tempo against a fairly aggressive list. Especially when I could just have these instead. Having this was great. Top thinking this is nice. Looking pretty good to start. Honestly, probably should have played this instead, but meh, not a huge deal. Now I can attack with both of these. Another Fae. Make it rain. Psh, don't care. It kills one thing and I'm not trying to plunder. I'm just trying to not die. That's all I care about, not dying. Guess we can do this because we have two. See one make it rain already. Makes life good. And probably just play my two drops here. I wish I had Yasuo. I really wish I had Yasuo right now. It's really great. For the Empire. Alright. One of these I can't oh, really- the tail. I mean, yeah, I'll just- I'll take the block. I'll take the block. Aw, oh, they didn't want it. I wanted it. They didn't. I'll shoot the wings off a it's understandable. It's probably worth doing this. Actually, not yet. Mm, probably was worth doing it to get this heal, but like my thought was they're gonna play another creature. Yeah, so we'll do this now instead. Much better. Doing it, I think playing reactively rather than proactively there, because their attack, their open attack wasn't that good. So doing this instead feels much better. Alright, my ass was leveled up. If I could just find a little Yasuo somewhere, that would be great. Cause their board like might bye bye. just, you know, die. It, uh, might no longer exist anymore. Okay, so they have to block this. I assume they block it with this 3-1 because they want to get the Gangplank level up. It's actually pretty sure scary that they can do that. It makes me kind of rethink even attacking there in the first place, but knowing, you know, Bilgewater, I'm sure they have like a Make It Rain or something else. Alright. 
So the idea here is that they're going to attack with these two, and then I'm going to play Intimidating Girl after that. Mmm, no, 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 oh, no, it's, uh, I don't want to, mmm, Okay. People don't usually play that before. I follow only one path, my own. So I assume they are going to take the scout attack. I would think so. Yeah, I thought you would. And I'm gonna go ahead and play my tasty food yeah, and heal up. Are you? I am certainly going to heal up here. No, don't hurt my tasty. This, and then we can play Roar after. They have more. Okay, there's only one thing to do. Right? Wait. Right? I mean, they have Noxian. We can counter it. Okay, never mind. Hey, another one! <laughs> Yes. Yes. This is feeling pretty good. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Walking is strange. All right. Take them down. Oh, I think you get them back. I should have. I don't know if it was a BMGG, like Noxie and Fervor, but yes, yes, I'm happy with that game. Okay, so I had some really cool Apprehend games, but they got ruined because my mic settings just all of a sudden went really low, so it's like I'm just hardly even talking, like you can hardly hear me, so I went ahead and muted it. I'm just gonna put some lo-fi in the back for y'all, I'm gonna explain to you what's going on in the games, because I felt like they... I like this one especially that I'm playing right now, it's just a really good game and I wanted to be able to share it with you all even though my mic had issues. Uh, I fixed them very quickly but it was just, it was so sad. I was so sad when I realized, I was like, wait, why can't I hear myself? Oh, my mic settings randomly reset, that's awful. But you can see I got a really good start in this game. I am able to go fairly aggressive against this Heimer Lux deck and I wasn't really sure what the deck was because I saw Simer Lux, but I was seeing the Mage Seekers, and I haven't seen that variant much recently. I've seen it a while ago, but I hadn't seen it recently, so it was really cool to just see a different deck being played. And I went ahead and took those trades here, and then, well, you no. Know, the good thing about Avad is that I can just uh, skip through it. Um, I, you know, I'm pretty good at talking during these turns, but it's just different when you're not playing the game yourself. So they went ahead and played that, you know, so we're gonna, yeah, just just speed mode. So I remember here specifically, I was like, I am waiting for them to play the Heimer so I can kill it with Ravnus Flock, which unfortunately, spoiler alert, I'm able to get these good attacks in, make some great trades, and then I play the Ravnus Flock, and that's pretty sweet. And then I go through here, and well, I mean, I play the Ravnus Flock and it gets freaking barriered, but it's pretty sweet to go with the Ravnus Flock regardless, all right? So then I got these big fave blade twirlers, I'm like, yeah, I'm super cool. And then I'm like, whoa, I got Darius, wow, I'm super, super cool. And I play the Darius and I'm like, oh, fey, that's all right. But I'm like, open attack here is pretty nuts because then I can level up my Darius. So we'll go ahead and start here because this is the cool stuff. We just skipped through the boring intro and we're going straight to the cool stuff where I level up Darius and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, you know, top deck apprehend because I'm super cool. I have deep med. We'll just get, we'll just get it that way. I was so excited for this part too. Maybe I'll just like turn off my camera girl real, real quick. Yeah, yeah, here I am. Here I am. I'm like, ooh, yes, I got the apprehend. I was so excited about it. Okay, so. Uh, we'll go back to the present me high and I'm like, oh yes, they played Lux too, I'm gonna apprehend this and I was pretty excited. 
I, it, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this was the highlight. And unfortunately you can't see, well, you know, maybe I can just like move myself over, but like you can see, I'm like, oh no. And my Darius dies, he dies. He freaking dies. I was very, I was sad. So, so sad. But at least I have another Darius in my hand. So you get to see the past me reactions and the current me reactions. Honestly, current me kind of forgot the Darius died. I was thinking, oh, this is where I get him. But you know, don't worry, we will get them in the future. Don't worry about it. So now, of course, we all know that Hyra Lux turns super boring. Just kidding, they're actually pretty cool. But uh, they did something boring and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna play a barrier Darius. What are you gonna do about that? You know what? I'm gonna give you a hint. I'm pretty sure the answer is nothing, but I don't remember for sure. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I got to apprehend. I got the world just circling around my Darius. Life is good. I'm feeling good. Uh, my opponent's thinking because they're like, oh no, it's a Darius. And then they level up uh, Lux by doing some Lux things. And I'm like, apprehend time. And then they kind of sit there for a bit. They end up killing one of my five threes and they block up. So I'll, I'll, I'll let that play through. You can see the satisfying Darius crushing them as his barrier makes it where he takes no damage at all. Hybrid getting a little damage on him because we all hate that dude. And then we go, whoop. They hit me with the 6-1 elusive because I kind of forgot it was their turn to attack. I was like, oh yeah, it's their, it was their attack turn, but my apprehend. And then they try to block here, but Darius is just too good and Darius destroys them. Boom. It was just like that. This game, we're gonna skip the boring parts once again. I have a pretty solid mid game overall. Early game is pretty good, and they're playing Vi Draven, so it's a cool concept. Good for them. I appreciate it. Draven Axis plus Vi is pretty neat. And uh, then I'm like, all right, I got apprehend. You got Vi. What are you gonna do about it? So yeah. Um, what do I? I play Decimate to level them up. I feel like I draw a double Darius a lot. Yeah, in most games it feels like I did. So I level him up and then I'm like, all right, I'm gonna play the this guy so he gets a little bit of bonus going because I don't wanna, I don't want Darius to die to Vi. So I let that happen. And then I just hope for them to play more things and they do and then I play the stun and I'm like, woo yeah. And then I just go ahead and uh, attack through with the elusive plus the Darius. There's nothing they can do about it because I stunned up their Vi feeling pretty good about myself there and then after that I play against uh, this deck was a cool concept as well and well I mean this game was actually fairly interesting they were kind of brown wave BMing me as they were drawing cards with Jay Mordarda and I was like oh apprehend and I think they wave like right here thinking that the apprehend's gonna cancel oh no they didn't they did it after because the apprehend is only or the bastion only cancels the sun not this so they brown wave me here and I just thought I'm very confused I was just like wait what and I'm just like whoa I'm just gonna go boom 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 and that's what happens and then I attack with everything else. I was going to develop because I was worried about mystic shots and then I win. So there are the games that you missed and I thought that you would appreciate me going through the apprehend games themselves although the other games are quite cool as well. So thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed this kind of scuffed video. Bye everyone!